What is up, everybody? JD's Lawn Maintenance back at it again. We are going to make an update video today. First thing I got to do is take this gas out of this go-kart. I don't want any stupid water getting in my gasoline. All right, so here's the go-kart. It's doing good. Trailer with that Husqvarna on it. We were mowing, mowing some land yesterday. So. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put this gas. Just put it under these trees and I'll take it in the garage in a little bit. All right, so I was, I was really going to do is show y'all the shed. What's going on over there? Um, we're playing with some new fescue. And it's actually going pretty good. Over here, that's where the septic sprinkler sprays. And uh, this is just where we've been hand watering it. And it's actually still coming in pretty well. So the rain we're getting right now will definitely help that. And uh, yeah, so over here is pretty bare without the mower or the go-kart or the trailer. But I still got this wagon. I need to figure out something I want to do with this thing. I think about putting like some tall sides on it and making it like a leaf hauler. If I want to do leaf cleanups, just dump a bunch of leaves in there and haul them off to the burn pile. And then another new thing I got, actually that's not new, but I'll start on the new things I got since I was on on video last. Uh, I got this street sweeper. That was not a street sweeper, but that's what I like to call it. Um, the lawn sweeper, and it puts all the leaves into the basket. Into the, what do they call it? A hopper. So, uh, fills up the hopper with leaves. It works really good. I actually found it on the side of the road. Uh couple blocks away so i went down there on the go-kart and picked it up and she works good i cleaned up the whole backyard with it the other day and it worked good i of course more leaves just came and i can't do any sweeping because if i do it'll pick up all the grass seed so and then on this mower this crappy turd that always sits right here i put a new flywheel key on it and uh actually believe it or not ace hardware had a uh, flywheel keys so I went ahead and grabbed one of them. Actually, they had a pack of three for like $3. So I grabbed me some of those and uh, I threw them on here. And it uh, turns out, pretty much runs like new. Let's see if it'll start. Yeah, it will. So yeah, so she's running good again. Uh, it was really sheared. It was sheared right in half and uh, it's still got a little bit of a knock to the engine when it gets hot, but I think the flywheel, or not the flywheel, the crankshaft is just tweaked just a little bit, and uh, that's kind of what's causing the a little bit of knock, so no big deal. Then I got my signs, still got the signs, JD's lawn care, I need to get, make me a new sign. And it's raining again, which is great, got my John Deere sign up there. So uh, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to see in here, hoping you'll see a little bit. Yeah, you can see a good bit. So uh, here's y'all dump dump cart. I'm getting rained on. So someone's texting me. Hold on. All right. So if it's kind of weird, these I had to join these two videos together because someone was texting me and I went to go answer it and it ended the video apparently. So all right. So since I uh, made my last video, I uh, picked up how many new yards? Three, four new yards. Three, three new yards. And, uh, they're all not on my, in my neighborhood, so I have to drive to a couple of them. So, one of them I have to take the go-kart to, and then the other two I gotta take the truck with. My dad takes me, so. There's that. So, it's just a couple friends, or a friend, uh, recommended, or, uh, referred me to one of the people in his grandparents' neighborhood, so I'm doing that one now, so. That's a new one, and then another one I gotta take the go-kart with the trailer to. And I'm gonna end up making a setup with the trailer, coming up in the next couple of days once it stops raining so i would i was gonna do it today and it didn't rain and i already promised a video today so <sighs> so here i am so everything's doing good um i was mowing the other day friday last yard of the week and the recoil on the time master jacked up it had been messing up for a long time it wouldn't uh restring so i ended up having to get a new recoil for it and uh Works like new now. $33 Amazon. Got it the same day. So, can't complain on that. Old Echo SRM 225 is doing good. PAS 225 is doing good. I'm about to order a uh, hedge trimming attachment, the articulating one for it. 
because um, I'm going to be doing a big hedge job coming up. And I'm going to need the articulating one. And then this customer is going to stick around for a long time. So I figure if I can cut that bush twice, that uh, articulating hedge trimmer will pay for itself. So all you're going to get an attachment for this thing, or I'm just going to see if I can find a cheap articulating hedge trimmer on uh, Craigslist. We'll just have to see. And the SRM 280T, she doing good. Moving on over here, we got the SRM 210. She's still sitting here. Of course, I need to order a recoil for it. So I gotta do that. And the SRM 230, I need to order a uh, handle for it. This is broke, so. Not broke, but it's, the handle's messed up. The uh, loop handle, so I'm gonna need to get that. So tonight, I think I'm gonna order the recoil for the 210 and the handle for the 230. My Buzzley's running again. This will go over to my grandparents' house. One of them will. The two, I don't know if the 210 will or if the 230 will. I'm not sure because I need a, a weed whacker over there. And then just got got some new cones for the yards that are not on my street because my street's pretty not very busy. So I use one for my street and the rest are just for, uh, for the yards I have to drive to. This bucket full of junk, string, straps, this little collapsible cone, goggles, you know, all the all the usual. Got a bunch of microfibers here. Tire shine. What's this? Quick detailer. Oh, this is from when I cleaned the mowers up and I had some uh glass cleaner that used to go there, but it's gone now. Used it all up. But I use that to uh clean the mowers. So that's that. Got the auger here, it's doing good, the old Murray. Right here, and I got my uh, JD's long hair sign. I need to actually make a better one, but I haven't yet. So, all right, and then moving on, got the blowers, the BR200. Not that's not the BR200. Pulling Pro PR46 BT, and the steel BR200. Got them both. They both work good. This one I'm going to be upgrading the pulling to a Echo 580. This thing's pretty good. You can't see squat, but I wonder if I can turn the flashlight on. Hold on. I can't do it during the video. That's a bull. So, yeah, so I'm going to be upgrading this to a PB580. I don't know what I'm going to do with the steel once I upgraded this. I think I'm going to keep this blower, and I'm going to uh, either sell this, or it needs it needs a, a carburetor. So I might get this going and then take it over to my grandparents' house. I don't know. Use it over there. And then I got this Echo HC 2020. I'll pull this thing out. Well, actually, I think I've showed y'all it before. But I'll pull it out because I want to look at it. Hold on. It's going to get shaky. I'll just hold on tight. There we go. Here she is. Dude, this thing has made me about 100 bucks in the last week. Two weeks. So this thing is definitely great. Paid 70 bucks for this thing. It's already paid for itself. Um, it's just great. Reconditioned Home Depot. Can't go wrong. Um, so, yeah. 20 inch blade. Of course, they had to write Recon in it. Whatever. But yeah, she's a good machine. I got a, I got two hedge trimming jobs lined up this week. Um, I've got one that I have to drive to. Hold on, let me set the camera down. Um, one I gotta drive to, and then the other one is on my street. So I think, I think I'm gonna charge the guy on my street 40 bucks. And then the one I gotta drive to, I think I'm gonna charge her 60. So it'll be another 100. So this thing is just a true money maker right here. And I've also got this Ryobi two cycle. Uh, it's just a weed eater that I took the handle off of. Attachment weed eater, it's got a hedge trimmer back there. You can't see it, but too bad. And then another, I got another attachment we needed up here. I needed a four cycle to run the pole saw. So I ended up getting this Troy belt and that Ryobi back there I got for free. So that's what that one is. And I got an echo chainsaw, steel back there. I prefer the echo. So yeah, guys, that's about it. I'm gonna have to see these two videos together or I might not even see them, see them together, but you'll find out. So, all right, so there it is everyone. So, uh, yeah, so I got some parts I got to order. I got to fix this old Echo. I really want to get this thing running again. I really like using it. Um, so, yeah. So, there you guys go. All right. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye for now.